Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I left with technically one more day until I am going to fly off to China for my school overseas trip. I'll be going there for like one week and I'll be traveling to Beijing and Tianjin. So I thought that I should show you guys how I actually pack my luggage and my ultimate travel essentials. So without further ado, let's proceed and show you guys how I pack my luggage. Okay, so the first thing that I'll do before I officially pack my luggage is to check the itinerary. I know that usually if I go overseas with my family or my friends, I don't really have an itinerary to check but at least the clothes that I pack will be appropriate for the occasion. So in this case, uh, I'll school already prepare some itinerary so uh, I'm just going to look through like where we are going and what we are actually doing. The only two things that I need to take note of is don't have to bring thick clothing because the weather is going to be like Singapore weather and we will be walking a lot so I don't have to bring my heels and yeah technically that's it so once I know like uh, what kind of clothes that I should wear or I should bring then I can finally hit on and pack my luggage don't judge me guys I haven't even packed a single thing on my luggage because I don't even know what I want to wear and I can't move on if I haven't decided the clothes that I'm going to bring I mean so far I've decided like three different outfits but I still have four more okay and I've been thinking for a very very long period of time my bed is in a mess you see oh my gosh this is my life I know it's just a school trip but fashion is key so I can't miss that out Jesus this takes forever and my flight is tomorrow and I haven't even decided how I want to deal with my life can somebody save me? So after so long on stressing over what I want to wear, I finally decided all of them. So now I am going to organize my clothes based on day one, day two, day three. So like on the day itself, I know what I'm going to wear already. And then I'm just going to simply roll them up nicely. This method is somehow more space efficient for me because by rolling them up, I actually can have more space. And organizing them by day, also makes it easier for me to know what I can wear on that day itself already because the clothes that I prepare for that day is specially for that day only and it will be suitable in terms of comfort and like convenience. I almost forgot to mention that normally I'll bring one extra set of outfit just in case of emergency like uh, I got my clothes dirty so I need to change on the spot or anything. So the second thing that I'll do is to have my underwear fold nicely and then keep it inside the pocket of my luggage and I'll just layer my bra on top of each other and then place it along with my clothes. I know hotels normally provide towels but for hygiene purposes I would rather use my own one. Then for ladies this will be optional if you guys already have your period but if let's say you guys haven't then it's better to bring it in case. This is something optional as well, so like I mentioned, we will be walking a lot so I want to have an additional footwear that will be more comfortable. Then I'll just place my socks inside my shoe so that it doesn't take up so much space and I'll wrap my shoe around with plastic bag for hygiene purposes as well. One important thing about bringing toiletries is to make sure that all the bottles you bring are well secured so that it will not leak out during the flight. Such as this bottle, it can be screwed properly so that no liquid will be able to be pumped out. Or for this bottle, there is a stopper to stop it from pumping the liquid out as well. I know some of you guys would rather buy the travel size toiletries but for me, I'll just use my own one since I'm checking in this baggage so the quantity would not matter. I just packed my conditioner, body wash and shampoo in one ziplock bag and before I actually zip, I will just pump out all the air so that it will be well compressed and seal it back. If you guys are as worried as I am about my product leaking out, then I would suggest you just follow my step which is to clean wrap the bottle and then just cover it back. And 
Normally, when my bottle comes with a cap, I will just leave it as it is. So I prefer to keep my facial wash, moisturizer and lotion in a different Ziploc bag from my body wash. I don't have a cover for this toothbrush, so I will just cling wrap them in case it gets dirty. Same goes for my shaver, I don't have a cover for it, so I just cling wrap them. Another thing to take note is to have all the heavy items to place near the wheel area so it will not fall. When I go overseas, I don't normally bring along makeup except for my base makeup, my eyebrow pencil, my lipstick. Since I have my eyelash extension on, so there's no need for me to bring mascara or eyelash curler. Sometimes I may want to style my hair, so I'll just bring some rubber bands as well. I'm afraid that my perfume bottle may break, so I'll just bring this mini fragrance around. These are the optional, but I'll just bring it in case I need it. Travel adapter is one of the most important things that we cannot miss out in our luggage because without that, we can never charge our phone if the plugging is different. After packing my brush and hair straightener and that's all I have for my luggage. Alright, so I'm finally done packing my luggage and I'm going to move on and also show you guys what I pack inside my bag because some of the stuff I don't really pack it inside my luggage in case I might need it on hand such as like my lens solution or my contact lens box. So I'll just quickly show you guys what I'll put inside my bag. It's a backpack like this, not a very big backpack but it's a mini backpack. So uh, I actually like this bag a lot because uh, there's a lot of compartment like they have this compartment here and like this compartment here then a mini compartment over here other than my camera which I'm actually using right now uh, I'll also put things like my spectacle because I wear glasses when I don't have my contact lens on obviously so I'll definitely put this in inside my luggage, um, I mean my bag. On sunny days, I would definitely want to wear my sunglasses. So I'll bring along a sunglasses as well. Wallet will definitely be necessary and I'm bringing a simple wallet just in case like when I go there and then I was sticking out my wallet and somebody just robbed me randomly. And inside this wallet, I even put like an extra wallet. It's actually a card holder. The good thing about this card holder is that it's sort of secured so like if you have your credit cards placed inside this wallet they can't scan your credit card and credit your credit card hold on does that make sense oh my god i feel so confused right now so technically you just don't need to worry if you put your credit card here because nobody can randomly tap your card with the wire machine and like eat your money yeah so that's a good thing for this tissue is definitely important so yep you you will need that anytime and i know that i already put some pets on my luggage but in case of emergency it happened on the spot i at least can have additional pets this is just some ghost problem then moving on i'll have my passport and sd card in case my this sd card decided to <laughs> abandon me like i mentioned earlier a uh, contact lens solution and lens box which is definitely less than 100 ml so can bring in then i also have a mini comb for me to comb my hair in case my hair you know got messy because it always got messy of course my airpod is definitely necessary because um why not? I kind of lost the missing ear of my piglet, oh my gosh. I'll also bring my portable charger, you know, in case. Then my eye drop because my eye always get really dry when I wear contact lens. And one last thing would be my nail clipper. This is a mini nail clipper. I'm not sure if I can even bring in like this, but if I'm not wrong, I can bring in because I tried before. I always need to cut my nail like randomly at public because my cuticles tends to get really dry then you'll just break halfway and I have to like cut off the skin 
at the side and whatever. Yeah. So you get the theory. And of course some sweets because I'm going to get bored and what if I'm nauseous I'll need sweets. Yep, yeah, that's technically all I need inside my bag. The most important thing is to have my passport, my phone, and money. Because without these three things, I can't buy things that I don't have. So that's all for my video here. So I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys in my next video. So don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and also follow my socials at jaceleneymh. See you guys soon. Bye!